Welcome back to another episode of Looney Tunes, where facts and opinions always get confused. I am your loony ass Daffy Duck host, Thundarius, and I'm joined by my absolutely Toon Squad co hosts. Can't mess with this guy, Shades. I am a fan of the number three team in American Hand Egg, also known as football, Oregon Ducks, Dylan. And we are Cyber Skull Media. Now, this is Fail or Fire, and we are back with another Rin video for you guys today. The Renegades who have been following us and have seen all of our videos know we like to have fun with people who hate on us or Rin in the comments of our videos, and today was no exception. We almost didn't have anything for this week, so thank you, Random Hater, because you gave us content. Thank you very much. We are diving into the hunger today because it won our poll. It won our poll this week and it made Dylan so very sad that Animal Flow lost. You broke my heart! But uh, <laughs> I've recovered. I'm here for the hunger. Uh, we are not going to have a poll this week. More on that later in the video, but we will let you guys know later exactly what we're covering next week. And you might be shocked how the rest of the month is going to go. You just might be into it. So without further ado, this is The Hunger by Ren, and we're excited to get more rap. We are very familiar with the pig head by now. Animal Farm, George Orwell, Greed. Let's do this. Let's do this. Poison in my veins, lights a flame in my brain That maintains the pain that may change my frame of mind Blind I design rhymes, intertwined, double time, genuine Frankenstein I made a monster Conquer, music scene, golden ticket, wonka Conjure, lyrics in my belly, I got thunder Younger, everybody wishes they were younger The older I'm getting, the more I feel the hunger About to like a welterweight, how to scout and need out the cells Alpha, beta, delta, I help you into the fall I shall come out of mind, the TV, these rhymes You might find you never felt a feeling like this Feeling me, believing I'm a demon, I'm a devil. Fuck the game, complete at every level, I'm a vessel. The spirits are channel on my lyrics, I'm a rebel. I raise my fist, the anti-capitalistic pissed I revel. In society, collapsing, fantastic, now pump the treble. Think of the top of the tip of my tongue, and tap into telepathy. Terrified them with the terrible telegram, you see tantrum, I talk to the enemy. So when I flow and I grow, and I flow when I swallow the flow like a tobler, wrong on my feast, and I flow on my beast with the flow, then I'm switching it up and I'm taking it low. Keep it with the black heart in the car park by Primar, jamming Django, one heart, living with a bro star, refine rats, we'll find our Vincent Dango, I start. Making my mark like Frankie Sinatra can call me Arthur. And my style is homegrown like growing Cali weed. Don't need no personal trainer, I got trainers on my feet. You know I got the soul in my bowl when I eat. You know I'm staying grounded when I grind up my beef. But if you got a problem, my brother, I might just put on some rubber gloves and just choke it to Larry Frog. Just some blood that just bubbles up and the bubbles just double up and you struggle. But luck is up because I'm subtle at covering up the trouble. Cover up the crime scene, 1990, that's my scene. My teen years were spent rolling the tie green. Obscene fiend in a pair of baggy jeans. Putting backy with the green roll of fatty dopamine starts flowing. My cerebellum glowing, the pendulum is slowing. I'm swinging and I'm swaying, but I don't know where I'm going. My running Jesse Owens, hallelujah, Leonard Cohen. All the seeds that I've been sowing, slowly growing like trees. I grow, then I preach. Scrap that I teach. Teach over beats to all those that seek. Teach on these streets. Streets come yeah. bleak, but bleak was the place where I rose to my feet. Okay. All right. Well, that was that was the. That was interesting. That was, once again, a little bit different than some of the other stuff we've gotten. We were recommended to uh, watch that all the way through and then digest it afterwards because of how short it was. Shout out to our uh, Renegade fan who suggested that to us. We uh, decided that that was going to be how we did it this week. So that was pretty good. That was pretty good. It was, I wish it was longer. I wish it was longer, man. That's what she said. Yeah, I definitely could go for more of that. <laughs> You serious? You know, when he when I first looked at that right there, I was like whistling diesel. 
Why? I don't know. He just he looks like whistling diesel. So we start with our intro here where he goes, poison in my veins, lights a flame in my brain that maintains the pain that may change my frame of mind. Blind, I design rhymes intertwined, double time, genuine Frankenstein. I made a monster conquer music scene, golden ticket, Wonka, conjure lyrics in my belly. I got thunder younger. Everybody wishes they were younger. The older I'm getting, the more I feel the hunger, which is quite topical given the fact that it is spooky season and we're happen to cover this in spooky season. And we're talking about Frankenstein monsters. We covered Prof this week and his DJ Willy Wonka was in it and he's talking about Wonka. We are the music makers and we are the dreamers of dreams. I mean, the timing, guys, the timing couldn't be better for this. It, w- it was supposed to happen. Serendipitous. Destined to be. Now, uh, this uh, this verse, well, maybe maybe we'll read sections of it and then digest <laughs> it afterwards. How's that sound? I feel like I look like LL Cool J and Everlast had a baby. That's terrible. Shelter like a welterweight, helter skelter, need Alka Seltzer, Alpha, Beta, Delta. I help you into the fallout shelter. Melt a mind or two with these rhymes you might find you never felt. A feeling like this feeling, be believing I'm a demon, I'm a devil. Fuck the game, completed every level, I'm a vessel. For spirits to channel out my lyrics, I'm a rebel. I raise my fist, the anti-capitalistic, pissed off rebel. In society, collapsing, fantastic, now pump the treble. Helter skelter. Helter skelter, that's a great rep group. We're melting minds over here, Shades. I was actually just reading those same lyrics. He's not kidding. He's not kidding. Well, I am not anti-capitalist. I am a rebel to the system, and I can still rock with Ren. TikTok off the top of this tip of my tongue. I am tapping telepathy. Terrify them with the terrible telekinesis tantrum. Yes, I tortured the enemy. Slowing the flow and then growing the flow, and I swallow the flow like a Toblerone. I'm a feast on the flow. I'm a beast with the flow. Then I'm switching it up, and I'm taking it low. And we have seen from posts people have made all over socials that Toblerones are a thing with Ren. I'd like to know more. Let us know in the comments what this deal with Toblerones is so we can look it up and understand. Because I've seen people joke about it several times in the Ren rabbit hole group on Facebook. I need to know. I need to know. Because I love me some Toblerone. Toblerones are delicious. <laughs> hey, they have a bear in the mountain too. That's clever. There's a who? What? Toblerone logo has a bear in it. Oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> it's like <laughs> what are you talking about, Dylan? It's a deep cut. I'm talking about bears in the Toblerone <laughs> mountains, man. There's a bear there's shit a, in the woods. There's <laughs> a bear Toblerone in the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> No. Kitty with a black heart in a car park by Primark, jamming Django Reinhardt, living like a rock star, refined rap to a fine art, Vincent Van Gogh. I start making my mark like Frankie Sinatra King, call me Arthur, and my style is homegrown like growing Cali weed and don't need no personal trainer. I got trainers on my feet. You know I got the soul in my bowl when I eat. You know I'm staying grounded when I grind up my beef. Shout out Frank Sinatra. When Thundy goes to uh, karaoke, that's life. He is my go-to. And Vincent Van Gogh, he mentions, I know, isn't he, uh, he's writing a new Tales, and isn't it about Vincent Van Gogh? I, I should help out with that one. I have two ears, but only one of them works. That's close, right? Aha. <laughs> if you got a problem, my brother, I might just put on some rubber gloves and just choke you till larynx ruptures and blood. It just bubbles up, and bubbles just double up, and you struggle, but luck is up, because I'm subtle at covering up the trouble. Cover up the crime scene, 1990, that's my scene. My teen years were spent rolling that tie green, obscene fiend in a pair of baggy jeans. Putting backy with the green, roll of fatty dopamine starts flowing, my cerebellum glowing. The pendulum is slowing, I'm swinging and I'm swaying, but I don't know where I'm going. Mind running, Jesse Owens, hallelujah, Leonard Cohen, and all these seeds that I've been sowing slowly growing like trees. Bars. I love that Jesse Owens line. Jesse Owens was a legend. Face what he faced and being the fastest man alive at that time. Props to Jesse Owens. RIP. I like planting seeds and watching them grow. We have something in common. I have three of them and they're wonderful little humans. Oh, wait, never mind. Not where I was going with that, but <laughs> that works. We're we talking about rolling some fatties. <laughs> Bring some Thai green. Little tip about hash cakes. Just start off with one first. Wait about an hour. See how you feel. Don't eat 15 in one go, because you will see the devil. And he'll try and rip your heart out through your kneecap. You know, shout out to the 90s. I didn't spend my years rolling Thai green, but I did wear baggy jeans. Because who wasn't rocking Jinko back in the day? I mean, come on. Jinko yeah. for life. I don't think that I actually ever did, but I always wanted some. I had a pair of Jinko shorts. I never had the pants. 
I never had like the super big ones, but I had Gene Code jeans and shorts with all the designs on them. Yeah, I was that kid. I was I was rocking uh inspired by Wu Tang. I was rocking Tommy Hilfiger, not to be in the yacht club, but to be down with the Wu. I'll give you that one. I had Tommy and Echo and South Pole. South Pole, man. I miss South Pole jeans. Some of that for us by us apparel. I didn't have any of that. <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't either. I was. I was not pretty fly for a white guy. I mean, I'm pretty fly for a white guy. I am now. I just fashion wise, I was. I was not into that. Fashion wise, I went to outlet malls. Okay. Once, uh, once I hit the skate scene and had access to CCS catalog, my whole fashion changed. Well, I grow, then I preach. Scrap that, I teach. Teach over beats to all those that seek. Teach on these streets, streets that can bleak. But bleak was the place that when I rose to my feet. And he rose to his feet in this one. This one, once again, the dude can can write lyrics and give us something different than we've seen so far. I'm I'm quite quite enjoying this. And once again, the music video, unlike some of his others, aren't like over the top artsy or anything. But uh, it was really well done, given what they had and for the length of the song. It was really cool seeing all the graffiti in the background and just maybe a side of the city that most people wouldn't see unless you're living there. As far as I'm aware, I'm not sure exactly where this is filmed. It could be somewhere next to a major highway that everybody sees. Still pretty cool. Now, before we get into letting you guys know what we thought of this and what our review for this is going to be, we have a Halloween live special coming up tomorrow. Tomorrow at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. That is six. No, that is not six. That is eight. Eight p.m in london if you guys can come out that would be amazing we would love to see you guys there more information is on the screen now you can check our community tab for this graphic so you can save it to your phone but we would absolutely love to see you guys there we are going to talk about rin a little bit we are going to talk about the effect that both him and you guys the renegades have had on us because it's been absolutely overwhelming and we're hoping that some of our friends that show up who aren't familiar with these videos will then be able to understand Ren a little bit better, know where we're coming from and how amazing he is and that you guys are. So we would love to see you there. Now, normally I would tell you guys, hey, go vote at the end of this video on the poll to, to take us down the rabbit hole next. But the poll will be coming back in November because next week we are covering Animal Flow on Friday. And then we're giving you guys a double drop since Animal Flow is something Dylan really wants to cover. And Pain Salesman with Prof is something Shades has been really wanting to cover. We're giving you guys two next week. We are giving you guys two Rin videos next week. Friday, we're going to premiere it at the typical time at 1215 US Central Standard Time. We are going to then on Saturday next week at the exact same time drop the Pain Salesman Rin and Prof video now normally we live premiere every single one of our rin videos and you guys get to hang out in the chat with us it's a blast seeing all you guys there but it's only dylan and i that get to be there shades has to work and doesn't get to be there so gonna be the first time shades gets to join us in the chat for a live premiere and it's gonna be a blast so you guys have to be there for us so we can have a good time and then we're gonna follow up with the 25th. We're gonna drop Children of the Moon for spooky season because the next time we drop a Rune video, it'll be November. So on the 25th, the poll will be coming back and you guys can take us down the rabbit hole in November. So Shades, what did you think of Hunger? It was pretty good. I, I'll, I'll just start there. He's a rapper. I couldn't believe it, but this is what I really, really, really like. See what I did there, Thundy? Hashtag Otis Julius. So seriously, uh, the rap shit that, I, that he does, I think it's all pretty dope. I mean, I'm yet to find anything that, that I don't like yet. I'm still yet to find this elusive Daffy Duck in these, in these songs, but I mean, that's whatever. Your house in 3D land. Yeah, everything he puts out so far, just straight fire. 
real quick, um, took a little heat for our, our coverage of Ren here. The dude has talent. Like, he can rap. He can string lyrics together. This, I, I do wish it was longer. It is a fire. I won't hesitate too long to get to my review there. I like the setting. Um, you know, graffiti is one of the, the pillars of the hip-hop culture, uh, you know, along with breaking and emceeing and DJing and all that. Graffiti is one, so I, I like the backdrop for this. You know, as he does a hip-hop song, he's got some elements of the hip-hop culture there behind him. I dig it. I like what he does. I like it when he flows. Yeah, a different kind of beat. You know, I like that he doesn't do just the typical, you know, not repeated 808 beats or anything like that. You know, he's got cool production. So yeah, it's a fire again. I want to point out and uh, agree with Dylan on the, the background and stuff. Like, I love all of his settings and, and all of his camo work. Like, they put in their work. They make it all look good. Absolutely, they do. You know, he's anything but ordinary. If you're coming here looking for ordinary, you're not going to find it. As we dive down this rabbit hole, I'm I'm enjoying all the twists and turns that it takes. With that being said, it was fire. I've dug what he did with the lyrics. Now, as far as everything we've covered so far, I will say, even though, don't get me wrong, I really like this, so don't, don't misconstrue this statement. It's not my favorite so far. <laughs> I actually preferred losing it to The Hunger. I know there were several people who felt differently in our comments section, which is fine. I preferred losing it, but I think it might have helped with um, some of the different things within the lyrics themselves that I just personally preferred. But that's nothing to take away from this. I'm still giving this a fire. I still liked it. It's still going on my Rin playlist of stuff that we have finally covered that I can now listen to on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm enjoying the hell out of Ren and everything he brings us. And if you're brand new to watching our videos covering Ren, welcome, welcome to the Cyber School Mafia. We will put a playlist up right here on the screen. I'm gonna show you guys what we have covered so far. You can go watch it. This will be pinned at the end of the video along with the rest of our series. But uh, people keep asking, you know, what have you guys covered? They're, I'm new to you. Have you done this one? Have you done this one? Well, now you know, we're gonna do this every Ren video moving forward. So anybody who's new to us, can see exactly what we've covered and you can jump right in so yeah just a, a quick aside you know we back to negative comments the haters whatever you want to call it oh we always work with with you stuff affects us we welcome all comments you know we're not here to to police and you know crack down on people and unless it gets out of hand but we're not above criticism you know it doesn't hurt we have to, we like to roll with it so yeah and when we're doing that we're not making fun of anybody you know we're not trying to instigate we're just having some fun with what we do. Yeah, like Dylan said, we 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 like to have fun with hater comments, but I blur everybody out because I don't want you guys to go hunt them down and, and start a war in the comments. You can't fix hate with more hate. We're just having fun with it. Keep it that way. I got a ring too. Everybody love everybody! So if you enjoyed this video, give us a like, give us a subscribe. We are Cyber School Media. This was Fail or Fire. We We'll keep bringing you the heat. We'll see you next week for our Ren double feature. It's going to be two different days, but double feature week for Ren. And we will see you guys tomorrow at the Halloween special live stream where I'm painting up my face. We'll see you guys then. Later.